Nothing but smiles for Boogie Cousins since he returned to the court as a warrior. So many eyes, guys, right, on how he would look after erupting after rupturing his left Achilles last season. DeMarcus, of course, not been shy about expressing his displeasure with the Pelicans, though, and management for not retaining him this past summer. And just this week, he told The Athletic that he still wonders what if when it comes to Anthony Davis. I think about our pairing all the time. Me and AD talk about it. It's expletive up. I don't think he used the word expletive. That's just my read on the situation. It could have been something great, something special, but other people had different things in mind that's out of our control, and you never know what will happen later on down the line. Uh, I do want to note, guys, that not only did Boogie leaving Louisiana affect the Pelicans, we lost one of our favorite shows here at the Jump, Boogie and the Brow. That was very upsetting. Oh, you got it um, back, though. Look at you, you clever thing. Mm, do you clever. think, though, Trace, I mean... the Pelicans are going to regret now that we've seen Boogie, because the big question was, will he be able to come back at all? Will he be able to come back and be himself? There's disagreement between Dell Demps and Boogie over exactly what was offered yeah, or not offered. And, and but they clearly didn't offer him some big, huge deal. I mean, we know that. He would have taken it. Right. So do you think they're going to regret? I don't know what the offer was. Mm -hmm. um, but however, they should have made this work. Because the two of these guys reminded me of two big men like Tim Duncan and David Robinson playing with each other. They're just smart basketball players and that was dominate inside, one dominating outside and was just, you know, a problem for defenses night in and night out. And they're so skilled. Not only can they score the ball, I mean, they both can pass. Got great defenders, great rebounders. I mean, they were killing guys in the interior. And I just think it's a shame that they couldn't make this work. Yes, we had, you know, some, some problems or as speculations of will he come back as a player and I, I think he did a great job of keeping himself in great shape he's not a guy that's extremely athletic and that can jump so that wasn't going to affect him at all but I mean he's just such a skilled big man I just thought they should have made it work and, and I, she's over here fidgeting I don't think she <laughs> agree with me I don't at think all so at but all. I'm happy for him because he <laughs> might win the championship yeah, this right, year right right so he's in a better situation for sure the New Orleans Pelicans did exactly what they should have done and that's because even when they were healthy, how much did they win, Tracy? What place were they in? No, but this is what, if you're the New Orleans Pelicans and you were gonna max out Boogie or pay him a ton of money and then pay AD, you have nothing left to contend for a championship. So as good as they might have been together, yes, it is. they were just the same or even a little bit better at times once Miritich came aboard. And AD and Miritich have accomplished in a different way much of the same things and yet, guess what? It's the same problem. They still don't win enough but see, but they I, have a chance to maybe sign someone. Or if you gave Boogie all that money, you're tapped out. I don't see. And you got those two guys, and where are you going? Listen. I am. With, I will. With, <laughs> with, with Boogie, what the Pelicans were able to accomplish last year and winning a playoff series without Boogie, do you understand how great they would have been with a healthy Rondo on their team as a starter or a backup or however they were going to play that, and Drew Holiday? That, that is your piece right there. Now all you have to do is just surround these guys with shooters. Mm -hmm. You have the foundation for your team with these two guys and, a, and the leadership of Rondo and an emerging all-star as Drew Holiday. But that see, is I, enough. I agree with you. The bigger problem for me that New Orleans did was they should have brought Rondo back. Well, yeah, That's I think everyone I mean. on this show agrees So if with you that, want to talk yes. about that, I'm all with you. Right, but, but I'm including... If you keep DeMarcus, Rondo is not going anywhere if you have but those But if you guys. keep DeMarcus, it costs you too much money. Meritich doesn't make anywhere near the money. There you go. Just look at the numbers with Meritich and AD. But wouldn't and you argue that the money, stra the cash strap situation is partly due to the contracts that they gave out before Boogie Cousins even got there? So that's all, what put them, all fine. That's what put it, them partly in that position. It, I am interested to see what happens because, look, as you point out, New Orleans Pelicans right now aren't even in, in the playoffs, right? right? AD is out, we know, for at least a little bit. That's right. going to hurt them. You know, it's going to come time this summer. We've been talking about it because it's going to happen. Not because we want it to happen, but because mm -hmm. our job is to tell you what is going to happen. They will offer him a Supermax. And right now, the indication seems he's not going to want to sign up for five more years of this. Um, so then he will end up having to leave. And if you were at New Orleans, and you look back, and Boogie really does have, we don't know yet. Look, it's Isaiah Thomas, Isaiah Thomas came back in the middle of last season. He looked good for a few games, and then he struggled a bit. Early. So we don't know what's going to happen with Boogie. But if Boogie finishes out this season looking like he's looked in these first couple he games, will. you got to think, if AD does turn you down for that Supermax, 
having had that big star you here, out. having had Ronda okay. there, you would play. you have felt like you did everything you could? And I, I don't, I don't know if I, I don't know which is the right decision. I it's will just play that all these devil's decisions advocate. Have consequences. But I'll play devil's advocate. And let's say you keep Boogie, mm -hmm. and he doesn't come back till when did he come back? Yeah. January. Mm -hmm. So how much worse off would the would the Pelicans with no be with no Meritich yep. in, in essence? So you're in lottery land, and then he comes back, and now you're going to ask him to do a little more than you probably should with a guy who's a very big guy coming off an Achilles injury. The thing that What's best about Boogie for him now is he's in the perfect situation. Perfect. They need a big guy to do that. He doesn't need to play a ton of minutes. He's a great facilitator. He's perfect for the team he's on. To project that to how he would be with the Pelicans to me is a mistake. You're in lottery land. Right? <laughs> you have these two right. big guys on your roster. Trade that pick, get you some some shooting. Well, that's true because you wouldn't have had, if you hadn't done the trade for Miritich, um, right. then obviously All fair. There you go. Have that first it round. works out. We could go backwards we so love, far. We love hypothetical. You know, look, look. Right. The, the bottom line is that they, whether they made the right decision or not, all these decisions have consequences, they do. and that bill is going to come due this summer, one way or the other. We'll see what happens.